Uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I have to, I would like to apologize, but uh, I'm still very new here in Poland, so I have just have, uh, had uh, four weeks of uh, intensive Polish language course. Uh, so uh, for sure it is maybe possible now for me to order something in the restaurant, but it's not possible for me to give a certain welcome remarks with a specific sense of information. Uh, so, first of all, I would like to welcome you very warmly in the Hall of Law of the Friedrich Stiftung. And uh, we are very happy to, uh, our cooperation with the Ferdinand Dagar Center of Social Thought in this uh, a series of democracy reactivation that has been tackling several uh, topics of uh, uh, interest of the different uh, uh, parties here. Uh, uh, in town, and uh, uh, we have, you have discussed about the crisis of political parties, social identities, uh, relations between democracy and the internet, new social movements, and today, I guess it's a very important topic, it's a relation between economy, market, and democracy. Uh, for us, uh, this uh, discussion are of, uh, of importance because we believe uh, that, uh, like in, in our country, in Germany, uh, the discussion about what to do in the, in the economy is always uh, related to, uh, to, to enormous changes uh, in social life, and this has uh, strong relations to, uh, to uh, our democratic uh, democratic system and the democratic development in our uh, uh, country you, you, you have maybe watched uh, already the the, uh, the last electoral uh, results in Germany the, on, the, on, the, on the provincial of the lender level and, uh, you see that euro skeptic or even worse uh, uh, alternative for Germany party has a lot of seats in, uh, in Brandenburg and uh, to India. And uh, for sure these are the anti the, the European the anti-European movement and uh, of course with uh, with nationalistic background and uh, and um, uh, they are working they are working mainly on, on the, uh, making the propaganda on fears on fears in, in our country. And it is fears with regard to uh, uh, with regard to unemployment and uh, insecure future, etc. So you see that this has uh, uh, a strong relation to uh, also to the economic development in the eastern part of Germany. That after unification, uh, the spring flowers promised by former Chancellor Kohl were not flourishing, and we had a very long period of transformation. Anyway. Um, I would like to welcome um, very specifically Piotr Kuczynski and also Rafał Wosch to give uh, their statements and uh, you will continue for sure in, in, in Polish and uh, maybe it is not so uh, not so, not so easy for me to follow that presentation. Then and, uh, I would like to ask you then for your uh, uh, permit to 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 go out and uh, continue my work a bit in the office. And uh, wish you all all the best during this discussion. And uh, looking forward in continuing this nice cooperation. And. Uh, and also for the rest of the year, and also for the next year. Maybe close that uh, with, with, uh, with a an beautiful experience we had with with uh, Michael Siska and the Ferdinand Sassar Center in organizing the 150th uh, 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 anniversary of the death of Ferdinand Lassalle on the 31st of, of August. We went there. Uh, to the graveyard and we went with the uh, deputy chairperson of the, the Social Democratic Party of Germany, Mr. Rav Stegner, a lot of Polish friends, 
and in the afternoon we discussed about the importance of the thoughts of Ferdinand Lassalle and, uh, and uh, the importance for, for today and it was interesting to discover that uh, several thoughts he had already more than 150 years ago still very relevant for today. So in this sense I wish you a pleasant evening and very fruitful discussion. Thank you so much.